hey guys, Mike Martin here. Right, a uh, quick video today. I've been asked by quite a few of our users over, over the past few weeks to create a <clears throat> breakdown of exactly how I write content for SEO. Now, as most users know, I like to write things really, really quickly. So I do everything fast. I don't like to overthink it. I don't like to take into account all the bullshit. I literally like to be able to do things as quick as I can as, and, and, and as easily as I can. So my main method, whenever I'm writing content myself, is the exact process I'm going to show you now. I use three different tools. They're not all mine. One's called Neural Text. I got it from AppSumo. got a lifetime deal, so it's absolutely perfect for what I use. I obviously use Page Rewriter, which rewrites all the SEO content. And I use Grammarly. I pay for them too, Grammarly and for Page Rewriter. I don't pay for Neural Text because I've got a lifetime deal. Right, so first step, like, let's say I was writing content for... Right, plumber. We're going to say plumber because I've got a note on my desk. There's something to do with a plumber. So we'll just, so I'll come to neural text first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll type in plumber, right? I'll go for the United Kingdom because I do the United Kingdom. And then I click search. Okay. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to go away and it's going to go and find a ton of keywords for me. Now, what I do whilst I'm waiting for all the keyword data to come back is I have a drink of water. So I'll give this a second. Right, done, okay. So we've got tons and tons and tons of keywords in here. I'm not interested in all these fucking keywords, guys. I go straight over to the cluster, <clears throat> and then I find, like, these, right? So my main keyword, first of all, so it's going to be my H1, yeah? Plumber location. So whatever location I'm going after, yeah? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a H2, right? And then H2. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to whip through this and I'm going to find all the different ones. Right, so plumbers near me. There's a good one. Yep. That's actually going to steal this guy's thunder. Oops, wrong one. Back here. Right, and then we scroll down the page. Simply, easily. Uh, emergency plumbers. I'm going to have this one, right? I'll take this back over here. You don't have to write H2. I'm doing that for the for the effect of the video, guys. Normally, I wouldn't. Normally, I'd know this is me H1. Everything else is me H2s, and I just work from there. Don't want plumbing supplies because I'm not asked about that. I'm not asked about tools. Plumber shop, I'm not bothered. Apprenticeships don't care. Plumber in London, I've got the plumber location. Plumber the queue, plumber jobs, plumber apprentice. Of course, is. Plumbers for a washing machine, maybe I'd have it if it's, yeah, I'd have that, it's got tons of search, look at it. Right, and I'd probably put washing machine slash appliances when I was doing it. But you'll get what I'm doing in a minute. See, it's giving me a lot of local stuff, but I'm not too asked about that. I'm really bothered about, there's a good one. So as you get the idea, I'm going down, 24 hour plumber would be another good one. 800 nod. Look at that, plumber for washing machine gets more search. Who would have guessed it? Fucking hell, plumber for washing machine gets more search than 24 hour plumber. Okay, so you take the guesswork out of what you're doing, go through, <clears throat> and you'll let's just carry on down to the bottom. It's not gonna work, is it? But I don't know if I did this one, but I'd have that. Right, I've got that. Plumbing Emmy Cheap's a good one. Right, so you get the idea, yes. I'll go through and I find all of these specific keywords I want, right? This is also great for going back through later and looking at the different types of, of stuff that we need, all right? So I use this because it costs me nothing. Um, have we got an emergency plumber one in there? Yeah, we have, right? So that's basically what I do first, right? Then what I do, so let's say I'm targeting London. I go into here, create a new project, call it Plumber. Oop, I'd call it plumber by actually calling it plumber. Type in here. 
right? And then my keyword, if I'm targeting London, would be plumber, London, and I'd search the London area, right? Why am I doing it in London? I'm typing in London and I'm putting in London because I want it to be as close and specific as it possibly can, right? Then I'm going to click get content, okay? So this over here starts spinning, goes away, and it's getting me content for my project, right? So once this content comes back, I'm not looking for thousands and thousands and thousands of words of content for it, okay? I'm looking to write a document here, and I want the document to have plumber and location content. Then I'm going to want two or 300 words of content under each individual one of these headings. So every one of these headings, you're going to have two or 300 words of content, right? So see if that's finished. Still going. I've noticed sometimes, I don't know why, I'll speak to my devs about it, that if it spins for ages, if I click on that and click on that and come back, it's always ready. I don't know if it's a bug in the software. If Martin spotted that, he'd go mad. But anyway, I'll speak to the, the, the devs. Right, so then I'd come in here, and I'm not interested about all my meta titles and stuff like that. I know they're great, but remember, we're trying to write content here. So I'd come down to my paragraphs, um, and I'd go through here, and I'd select sections I like, okay? Now, I'm not going to go through and read it all because we'll be on here for absolute um I'd, I'd select a few that i like maybe two or three hundred words of stuff that i like and i know it might be shite what i'm picking now because i'm not going to go through and do that on this live because it's just for the video so let's say we get to 223 words of content right i like this i've gone through it i've taken out all of the business names so any business names remember this is content from the first page of google that google absolutely already loves okay so we copy it we go over to the ai rewriter we stick it in here I'd just do one, but I'll do rewrite most, and then I'll click rewrite. Okay, so this now obviously is going through the document, and it's going to rewrite it. It's using various APIs and our own rewriter, so it kind of gets like a triple check. Um, so we'll go through here. We have a look at this, and it's like, right, okay, it's written. It's easy to book your plumbing service on an on-site survey through us. Yeah, there it says booking your plumbing service or an on-site survey with us has never been easier. It's the same, means the same, okay? So it retains the meaning. So I know Google doesn't give a shit about keywords any, as much anymore, right? And it's not looking for you, you've got to have the right words. It reads it, knows what you're saying. So this is the best way of doing it. So then from there, okay, I would bring this back over and I would stick this underneath H1. Done, right? I'm going to click done on that. And then I'm happy with my 200 words. Now, what's great about putting it in Grammarly first, I know it's massive and it looks a bit big, but... You can also uh, 24 7 to check availability and put your appointment instantly. So, this will actually rewrite it again for you. So, it'll come through. Um, and it'll just pick on little bits of it. And this is why I use Grammarly for this, right? Next one comes near me. Okay. So, I'm then going to come back over to my tool, my page, not my page rewriter tool. Oh, I've got lost now, guys. My page rewriter tool. Go back to the content section, right? I'm going to keep the word London. I'm going to place plumbers near me, London. Yeah, because I'm targeting a London location. Get content, and I'm going to replace the content. It's up to you if you want to create a new project for every one of these you do. I don't bother. I own the software, so kind of I've got unlimited credits, so it doesn't matter to me. But obviously, if you're doing it that way, and then what I'll do is I'll let that wait, and I'll let it, it go away and find the additional content. Let's get rid of this because we've already used it. No, it didn't work. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe I just feel like that because I'm dead impatient, so I flick through things all the time. There, it's finished. It told me it was finished. Right, so then we're going to go back over here. Plumber's near me, London, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and find the text, and I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to pull through a load of text I like. Um... And this might be shite that I'm pulling across, guys, but I'm showing you exactly how I do it. And again, I want a couple of hundred words of content, right? So we've got 218 words of content there. Got the same thing twice. I don't want that twice. We've got 202 words of content, right? Grab that. Take it over to the AI rewriter. Do that. Click go. Rewrite the document with most, most rewritten. And then what this is doing now is, is this is doing the same thing as it did before. It's rewriting the content perfectly for me. So I'm happy with it. Go and grab it. Take it back over here and stick it underneath there, guys. That's how simple I go through my process of writing my SEO content, right? Now, a lot of people might say, so, so I don't give a shit about H1, H3s. I always put a load of H, H2s on a page. 
right? Tons of H2s. They have one H1, tons of H2s, some H3s. And then if it's not getting where I want it to go, because this, if you think about this, right, I've just grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different thingies. So I'm going to have 1,400 words of content on this page when I'm finished, there or thereabouts. There's well over 1,000 words of content. So when it's finished, it's really easy. It's really quick, okay? Generates all my content, writes it really fast. Um, once I'm finished doing that process, and then in a situation where I, I can paste it into my website, and then we can start looking at where it starts to sit and where it starts to lie. At that point, if it's not doing very well, right, once it's been indexed and it starts to sit quite low, I would then do silly things like come in and, and, and re-look at the text and, and re reutilize what we're doing and make the text um, better. Uh, silly things, even like going in and, and I don't know if you can do it on here. Yeah, you can. Bold in the words, underline, uh, near me plumbers like that. I don't know if you if underline the words on there, italics and stuff like that. Go through. But I don't do any of that shit at the beginning. I get 12 to 1400 words of decent content on a page, right? A thousand words minimum, 12 to 1400 optimal. Stick it on the site. That's me content written. Okay. So I don't care how you do your keyword research. I use neural text. You can use whatever you want. I also use Zagio. Um, when I'm not trying to do it as local like this, then I take it into page rewriter, use the keywords that I've pulled out. Cause I've only pulled seven keywords out of here. I've pulled, well, plumber location, which is plumber London plumbers near me, which is emergency plumbers. Plumbers for washing machines, crazy that that gets so much traffic. Plumbing and heating near me, plumber 24 hour, plumber merchants. Yes, I'm going to go through there and I'm going to create all of that content. That's how I write my content. That's how I've always written my content. Um, and if you do it that way, it's really, really easy. It's really, really simple, really, really fast. Now, if you're writing this for a magic page, um, I'd normally then ex elaborate on these pages later. So I'd have the emergency plumbers as a service page throughout the website. Then I'd do a thousand words of content for emergency plumbers. And the process is identical. Okay, the emergency plumbers becomes my main keyword search. So I'd come back into here and I'd type in emergency plumbers. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to get all the keyword data clustered together for all the different types of emergency plumber searches that you're going to get inside of here. Then I'm going to pull the top ranking keywords for that. I'm going to go over to my emergency plumber service page. I'm going to put emergency plumber location at the top. And then I'm going to have five or six of these um, different sections with keywords inside that's going to enable me to write a thousand words of content very, very easily by just putting it into page rewriter, doing the search, grabbing the content I like, clicking the rewriter, which retains the meaning. I pull it through here because I like to also go through and just make sure that the content obviously passes the ad. So four similar sentences in a row, stuff like that I don't care about. But I go through and, and I let um, Grammarly do a bit of the legwork for me as well. I don't even need to be able to read and write properly to do it this way, guys. It just works, okay? You can, if you can just about make <laughs> read, you can write SEO content this way. And then once it's been indexed, once Google's picked it up, Google might love it right from the day one. And you might hit page one and you're like, bam, right at the top, done. Right? You've got no stress, you've got no worries. So don't over do as little as possible to get away with doing as little work as possible at the beginning. And then once you get to the point where you're thinking, fuck, I want to rank this a bit higher, I want to push this up the rankings a little bit further. Then you start saying to yourself, okay, now let's do some proper on-page optimization. Now let's go through and create, optimize all the content so it's absolutely perfect. And that way, writing content's a piece of piss, and this really helps you. Hope that helps, guys. Thank you very much. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.